All right, guys, welcome back to The Real South Africa. I have a lot of my family members here in town, and so I took them out so they can hang out a little bit, so they can get a good vibe of South Africa. Some of them have been here before. Some of them have never been here, so it's good to see those who have never been to South Africa but always wanted to come visit. Of course, we made that possible. And, of course, you know what? I think they had a good time, so check out this uh, whole video. It's impressive. Guys, we have a video on Amazon Prime, and of course, it's going to be on our website, so please check it out. It is amazing. It is our first documentary, and it covers so many topics that we all need to be talking about today. So, check it out. Hey, Tasha, what's going on? I see you over there driving. I am driving. Where are you going to? I'm going home. Where's home? You're going back to, to the U.S.? GP. GP. You all over GP? All <laughs> what you been doing? Uh, well, besides riding before driving, I spent um, about five days in the free state. And mm -hmm. then I just spent an additional eight days in KZN, a.k.a. Durban is where I went. Um, okay. And more specifically, I was in Mushlanga. Okay. Um, and... Now I'm just trying to take it all in that I have to go home because I really wanted to stay two more days. Ah, so how was Durban? Durban is always lovely. Okay. Uh, I had a really good time actually. Yeah. Weather was good, food was good, got to sleep good. Was coffee good. was good? Yes, the coffee was good. Okay, so you was doing that tourism <laughs> thing. I had my own milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you was yeah. doing the tourism thing, I see. I, I did do some touristy stuff. I okay. Would, actually, I won't say touristy stuff. I would say more like local exploration that I'm going to turn into touristy stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I do think a lot of the things that we saw locally, people that come here and visit would absolutely enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you can travel as a tourist but live like a local. Like that's kind of kind of what I think um, part okay. of the lifestyle and brand is here in South Africa. Yeah. So what do you, you think about that little hamburger joint we found? Oh, Smoking Joe's? Yeah. Smoking Joe's, the home of the Gypsy King Burger. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I just made a whole commercial for it. Yeah, I know, right? It was actually really good. It was a perfectly char grilled hamburger, which I'm sure you enjoyed. And it wasn't over feeling like that's why I really liked it. Normally when you eat a hamburger, it's like you feel too full, like maybe you should eat a whole burger. But I I could have eaten two. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. I could have eaten two. And I don't really finish whole burgers like that, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. Okay. Well I'm sure you'd be back in um uh, in uh, Free State and of course Kwazala Natal. Kwazulu. Kwazulu Natal. Okay, cool. And our best American accents. All right, cool. Well, enjoy your drive. I will enjoy my drive. I will be over here. You enjoy your ride. All right, bye. Passenger seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm older. <laughs> That's all she was trying to say. So this is the first elevator. Number 42, we'll cross over to the second elevator. It's new. Because it's new. It's only been like a year and a half old. If we only could do 21 projects every two weeks. We've been trying to. So you can go up to the front. Huh? So I don't steal the button. And the stuff that you don't use this month, you roll it over the next month. She may use the long arms. Of the not law? Of the outlaw? The scene in Rush Hour. Push the button. Push the button. That's what just came from. Oh, okay. That is exactly what he says. Yeah, I guess he is. Then we gotta go to another elevator. The secret elevator. <laughs> this is where the fizzy Lipton drinks are made up here. You guys are You want a fizzy Lipton list? That's how you get down, you gotta burp. Yeah, remember that, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Take us around. Yeah, we're pretty high up. Please follow Rebecca. Please follow Rebecca. Please follow Rebecca. Please follow Rebecca. Follow her the other way. No. I'm gonna get in the position now where I take no. You're already there, you don't even know it. Is this it or is, is there the fire going over there or do you have a fire? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Alright. We might max it out. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Hey, we got blankets and everything, so. What do you think? Maybe I should take the note next time. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. I know, right? On the ends, they have um, they have fire pits, but you can sit around like over here. I normally take this one on the end because it's bigger. That's what I take, but they got one here, but then they bring you food and you chill. And, you just, and you can walk around because they got different views of the city based off which you want to see. Um, yes, 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 yes please. Yeah, everything. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> In a world of my imagination, so you will be. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 come together. I see my little tails. <laughs> Paradise. So yeah, I can add this to your list. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't tell. Just don't. Say, just say. If they tell you no, you just you just say yes. <laughs> It's nice. I'm sorry the fires are not kicking because normally I had those stores. But you can walk around, you see other different views of the city. Pretty decent. <laughs> Freezing? Yeah. Get another blanket if you want one. Oh, you got it. Yeah. And there's just other spaces you can walk around too if you want to walk around. Megan, you can put it, the blanket around. Hey, we good. We good. We good. Uh, 
I don't know. I think they might order. We're gonna see. Give me a yeah, yeah. That's them over there. They might they might need something. All right, guys, Latasha Blanton here, The Real South Africa. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing uh, family, niece and nephew, first time here in South Africa. So we're gonna see what their take is on South Africa and ask them to introduce themselves first. Let's start with you in the red shirt. <laughs> Who are you and why are you here? Hi, uh, my name is Quentin Gray and I am here visiting with family on vacation. What, That okay. I'm Megan Noss, I'm visiting here from Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so it's your first time in South Africa. Thoughts, opinions, food, like where we at? Where we at? Food's excellent. <laughs> the, the food is fantastic. That's the first thing people usually tell you, like the food is the most amazing thing, and it definitely lives up to the hype. Definitely does. Um, it was the, an experience to be able to try new things, and I tried to order everything on the menu, um, but I could definitely vouch saying that the food is very good. Yeah. Now, ordering everything on the menu, go back, where'd you do that at? Um, Mr. George's. What'd you order? Called. Yeah. I ordered um, the uh, bread and butter uh, bread pudding, oh, so which is. <laughs> What'd you say about it? It, it was so good. Like it, it, made, it made no sense. I took one bite and I took it away from my father, and it was his. <laughs> <laughs> I also had lamb chops. I had sushi. I had pasta. And yeah, that's all I could finish. Yeah. You ate all of that yeah. and had a few cocktails. Drinks, of course. And you, Mr. Garbage Can, from what I can understand. Gosh, I've, had, I've tried everything here. The first thing I had was um, ostrich, was like the first thing I ever tried, and I was like scared. Um, but it was fantastic. Um, squid heads, I think, was another one. Um, like I've had, I've, my mindset here was just like, come here and just try to get anything that I won't get in the States. Um, and I think that's the most important thing is like, when you're coming here, leave every aspect of your concept of food from the states back there because here is a completely different aspect the food is incredible even when you're like oh, i would never try that in the states i guarantee you'll want to try it here because it will taste good absolutely <laughs> so even if you're not sure if you'll eat it it'll still taste good, it'll still good. Taste good. <laughs> <laughs> they must do something different to the food here huh they got to somebody back there putting some love in the food when they make it. I think they make it with love too. Now you talked about the chicken before. What what's up with this chicken? So the chicken surprised me here because in the states the chickens are like like the the drums and such are like so much bigger, but here they're like the size of your finger. And I was always asking, I was like, you know, why why is the chicken so small here? And like because they don't do all the extra processed stuff and all the GMOs or whatever they do in the states. Here it's real chicken. I'll just say this now: we have a <laughs> vegan in our family, and. <laughs> We literally looked over and he's eating the chicken here. Like he's devouring. We're talking bowl here, bones, and just the actual chicken here, and like finger licking good and everything. Um, so like the food here is, it's like it's remarkable and like it's not. It doesn't have all the extra processed stuff that they have in the states, and it's real authentic food. It's so good. Yes. So what have you done here so far? We went to see the monkeys, and we went to see elephants. We've also seen um, lots of variety of. Uh, animals that you would definitely not see in the US yeah. and they were on a private reserve it looked like a safari but the reserve was so big that you thought it was a safari yeah. um, but the one thing that I liked seeing was the feedings um, they showed us uh, wild dogs which is, is that a hyena no it's no, a wild it's dog, dog. <laughs> yeah okay so the wild dogs feeding the cheetahs feeding and the lions feeding which was really fun to watch um, but we also saw like uh, different types of uh, what is it? A, not a. Uh, I keep calling everything an antelope, <laughs> 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 but we were impalas, um, and then we also got to see warthogs, wilderbees, um, meerkats. Don't forget the meerkats. Meerkats, leopards, cheetahs, uh, white tigers. A white tiger. Uh, the, it was the list goes on. It was yeah. really cool. What did you think about it? I yeah. thought it was incredible. Um, I mean. God, you're literally like right there like the feedings were insane like they literally will drag the food out drop it off and it's like a circle of people everyone's watching like the lions just literally 
act in their natural habitat and it was like it was so cool um i personally like the monkeys they were really really cool <laughs> yeah um and also a really weird thing is like their paw their paw pads are like really so soft. soft like why super soft. why i think it's because the branches exfoliate their hands that's my <laughs> that's my thing i genuinely think that um but it was so cool like you know to to see to see them like just interact with people and like yeah. they're really funny because they were like shining my dad's head a little bit because he's really bald um <laughs> but then you know you have the elephants also because like everything here you're experiencing it and it's almost nothing like what you expect like for instance yeah. we touched um a elephant, elephant's tail yeah and the bristles felt like plastic it was really really strange like it felt yeah. plastic um the skin like it was really rough but like it's expected but until you touch it you never really know like you can't articulate it but they're very gentle animals yeah like they're very um i wouldn't say docile because if you yeah. mess around they're gonna mess you, you up you find out. <laughs> but they're so big but they're so gentle and the one thing that got me was their eyelashes oh my goodness they got blinky they, blinks on yes <laughs> and they had the prettiest like hazel brown eyes, eyes. oh my yeah. gosh it was yeah, so yeah. cool yeah so you guys are under 30 yes 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 for so me, for a, a few more bit. days <laughs> <laughs> a few more days so you're under 30 now what would you say to people that are in their 20s and 30s about coming to south africa what would you say to them come don't come like what would you say like not like not even in a short answer like what would you say to them i would definitely say come you for me i felt that you feel seen <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to put it into words, but like seeing billboards where everything is black people, African American, well, not African Americans, but Africans, and being able to see just somebody that is your age doing so well and flourishing, it's, it's really like very inspiring to want to do more. Yeah, and I would say <clears throat> like it's, it's so incredible here, but you'll never know it if you continue to listen to people from the states who are like, "Oh, you don't go South Africa's, you know, it's it's super dangerous and like it's nothing but like poor people." Like it's farthest yeah. from the truth. The what we've experienced here is more <laughs> like luxury and elaborate than anything that I've experienced in the states, and I mean Most anywhere. That um, five cents a day feeds a child that they be feeding people oh, they, is. All right, everybody, how you doing? This is Mark Blanton, and I'm here in sunny South Africa, of course. Of course, I'm always here, and of course, we're travel and tourism. And I just want to kind of give you guys some of the good news. First of all, the last trip that we did to South Africa, which which was involving the real estate, went very well. Everybody was excited. They got an opportunity to look at homes, and there were several people who actually purchased homes on that trip. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it again. The dates are coming. Everything is going to be amazing um it might be a very similar tour but we're going to add a couple of twists to it but like i said everybody on that tour truly enjoyed themselves and we want you guys to look at it uh, look at this trip that we're going to do i'm telling you right now it, this is the best place in the world to look at property simply because the exchange rate is favorable for us here in south africa especially for those who have american dollars and then number two they have a lot of inventory that you could purchase here in South Africa so we're going to bring that to you so um, one of the things I think that they really enjoyed was the simple fact that we were able to bring in all the experts everybody that they needed to purchase the home so they got to talk to them you know from the builders to the developers to the real estate agents to the conveyancers to the finance people they were able to reach out to all these people and it worked out so we're going to do the same thing for you so i want you guys just kind of to stay tuned with what we got going on because hey this is the real side of africa and we do it big and then of course there's always some extra things that we throw in there because we just do that so hey we can't wait to have you guys here and we will see you here in sunny south africa
The Real South Africa is a travel and tourism company. Our overarching focus is to bring to the, to the African diaspora uh, what South Africa has to offer in the, the realms of tourism and the, op the option to see what's, a, what's available here in South Africa. And then of course, if you're looking at trying to relocate to South Africa, then um, we can assist you in those areas, areas as well. My husband, you know, um, named the company and it made sense simply because of what we're shown in the media when it comes to South Africa. We're never shown, you know, how beautiful the people are, how beautiful the, uh, the architecture, um, the fashion, the food. So for us, when we got to experience how people actually have real lifestyles and they love their families and they socialize, like that was more real to us than anything that we had ever been shown, you know, as far as the media is concerned on that side. What we were taught um, about South Africa, um, as a child, we always thought Tarzan, you know, which was ridiculous. Um, we thought, you know, that it was just a, it was like jungles and stuff to that effect. Uh, the only thing that you hear about South Africa is robberies, hijackings. In fact, I was told that if you get here, if you have a bag in the car, they're gonna break your window and, and take it. South Africa is presented in a way that it's only shown for you coming here to serve others. You know, we see some of the films where the kids have flies on their eyes and, and they need our help and they're not a developed country and, and, it, and there's so many negative, um, it's dangerous. But when you get here, it, it contradicts everything that you have been told. All right, everyone, the real South Africa, we got packages. Packages to Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, and other places. We would love for you guys to come and enjoy what South Africa has to offer. And of course, as your travel and tourism experts here in South Africa, we can make it all come true. Now, we all know you guys have dreams and aspirations of coming to Africa. A lot of us do, and of course we did too, and that's why we're based here in Johannesburg, the city of gold. A very awesome place, and you're going to enjoy it once you get here as well. What do you get when you get here? Well, first of all, when you land here in South Africa, we take care of everything. We make sure your accommodations are good. We make sure your airport pickups are perfect. There'll be somebody standing there with a sign. We also make sure that the places that you're gonna visit are carefully curated for you, of course, and then you gotta eat. So what do we do? We put you in a perfect scenario, regardless of what city you're in, so you can actually have a great meal with friends and family, or even if you come by yourself, no problem, we're gonna take care of that too. But isn't this amazing? So this is what we can do for you. So basically all you have to do is just reach out to us on our website, therealsouthafrica.com. And of course, once you get here, we got you. Now, of course, South Africa offers spa treatments. They're absolutely amazing. And a lot of people just love it simply because they never thought they can get a spa treatment in Africa. And then of course, we always provide you guys with opportunities to see special animals out in their own environment and so forth. The only thing that you have to do at that point after you've been afraid from the, from the animals is to get on a plane, come here to South Africa and enjoy yourself. So we will see you here in what we like to call sunny South Africa. Oh, and by the way, you'll get an opportunity to shop as well. So book your trip today. for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.